As you guys probably know, Bath & Body Works just had their semi-annual sale and I did what I always do and indulge in a little bit of a guilty pleasure. So I actually have two boxes beside me because I ordered everything online and then I tried some stuff from the first box and I wanted more of it. So anyway, we'll get to it. I have a lot. So if you want to see what I bought during the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale, then stick with me. And if you're new here, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We do all kinds of fun fragrance things, expensive things, cheap things, dupey things, all the things. So hit that sub button and we'll do all of those things together. And let's jump in. So this haul may surprise some of you guys because I did not focus on just like body fragrance things the way that I did it last year where I bought basically every single one of their fragrance mists and then reviewed them because what happened was I ended up decluttering most of them except for the rose one which is my favorite um and like a citrus one that I also really liked anyway I'll link that video up here for you guys if you want to see a full review of the fragrance mists but this time I only picked up two I wanted something fresh zingy kind of unisex vibes so I picked up juniper breeze this is like one of their resurrected ones i think this has juniper leaves green apple blue jasmine i don't think blue jasmine exists let me know if that's a thing or not fresh woods and dewy musk now i do really like this one but the reason why i bought it was because i like using them as room sprays like air fresheners in the bathroom and i wanted something with like an aquatic woody vibe this one really delivers and it smells like a really pleasant airy woody like juniper type of scent i don't get a lot of florals in here which is nice so this one here this is salt water breeze i loved the name i loved the little packaging it looks like a little blue geode super cool um fresh linen violet leaves water blossom white musk i figured a fresh linen scent you can never go wrong it smells really nice i'm gonna actually spray it in my room right now i think this one I would be more inclined to wear on myself over the Juniper Breeze. It's just a really nice aquatic vibe. Very clean smelling, slightly sweet, slightly sea breeze vibes. Gentle, very pleasant. Actually it smells quite expensive. I'm surprised by this one. They've done well for an aquatic scent. Sometimes, you know, you buy a body mist that's aquatic. You run the risk of it really smelling like a bathroom freshener or just, well, like the price point like it could smell cheap but this one it doesn't smell like the price point like these were i think all four or five dollars so that's a really nice one i did smell all of them in store so i had like this was not fully blind i had chipped away slowly and like all of them kind of carry different things but my local one i did go and on several occasions sniff through the collection so the ones that i ended up purchasing were the ones that made sense to me. Like, none of their new releases are in line with my fragrance tastes. They're just a little bit too sweet for my liking, but that's not to say they're bad. They just don't suit my taste. So these were the ones that worked for me. I also grabbed the Juniper Breeze Body Wash because this is a very unisex scent and my man and I can both use it. And it's just, it's a very pleasant, airy, woody scent. This next one is Cloud Nine. This is just the body wash, Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. This is definitely cozy and sweet, freshened up a little bit by the lavender, which I pick up a tiny bit. It's a nice body wash, definitely feminine leaning, so this is gonna be mostly for me. I think this would layer really nicely with YSL Libre. I think those two, like wash your body with this and then put Libre on top, I think would be a really nice scent. Then I grabbed the Plumeria Body Cream. This is the Intense Hydration one. This smells truly like frangipani, like Plumeria flower. This would layer really nicely with any kind of tropical, beachy fragrance. So that's why I bought it. I thought it would make a great base, like as a layering base for any of those. It just smells like a true floral like i'm gonna put some on me right now like a true tropical vacation floral it does have a little bit of a greenness to it like a little bit of that leaf as well and the apple note that's in here it does come through quite a bit so like on its own i don't necessarily prefer it but the idea was to layer it with beachy fragrances so that's what that is and then i got a whole heck of a lot of candles but let me get through the body stuff 
Oh, also I grabbed the orange ginger soap. This is for my kitchen. This is not too sweet. This is really balanced. I almost smell like as if there's cardamom in here. You know, I need that extra zing when I'm doing dishes. So I thought this would be perfect for the kitchen. And it also is one of the more expensive smelling scents. So I really focused on the stuff they have that smells a little bit more expensive. I grabbed the Ivory Cashmere Lotion. This as well as for layering. So I like layering with their lotions and even their body washes, which on me seem to kind of stick around for a while after I use them. The Ivory Cashmere is really nice. Oh, I would have grabbed the mist of this if they had it. The notes in here are fresh lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. This just smells very cozy, fluffy, sweet. It reminds me of, you know, Clean Reserve, Clean Reserve Skin. It smells like this. Really super cozy. I would put this on in the evening and layer it with any sort of neutral scent. I think this would also layer really well with Erin's Amber Musk, which I wear a ton. It's one of my signature scents. I also picked up their Eucalyptus and Lavender Body Wash. This is a really invigorating scent. I mean, this basically just smells like essential oils in a spa, like one of those natural spas. Very soothing. You may think that lavender is like very soothing and puts you to sleep, but I think this would work for a morning shower to just like give you that zing. It just smells really natural. It just smells like real eucalyptus and lavender. I also picked up this eucalyptus and tea stress relief mist. I use this as a room spray, a pillow spray. This is super strong. When I first got it, I sprayed a ton of it and the room smelled for the entire day and I could smell it all downstairs as well. So like basically it filled my entire house for hours. So keep that in mind if you buy this and use it. A little goes a long way. It's a really nice relaxing scent and it has a bit of sweetness in there too. Like basically they all have a little bit of sweetness. I think they make them very likable to the general public and they don't do anything like crazy dangerous with their scents. So they're all quite likable. So even the essential oils line, I still find that they have a bit of sweetness to them. So this one's really pleasant, but I have to not overdose. And finally, I picked up the Rose Ultimate Hydration Body Cream because I love the Rose Mist. It smells exactly like the MFK's L'Eau à la Rose um, fragrance, which is a really expensive, like couple hundred dollar type of fragrance, but the mist really smells similar. The performance is pretty close and I wanted the cream to layer with that. It's funny because I'm not generally a rose fragrance lover, but this kind of dewy, fresh, like, just bright rose smells so nice. Okay, I just put it on top of what I had on here, which was the Plumeria one. And this smells really nice on top of the Plumeria cream. Hmm. So that's something to try. Now it's candle time. So basically I bought a lot. This is probably my favorite of favorites, and this is Dark Amber and Oud. I love a woody scent in my home. I don't really enjoy, for reference, um, to see if your taster or anything like mine or not, I don't generally enjoy when it smells like sweet baking. So for example, I got like a banana bread one from Bath and Body Works years ago that was just, it was too sweet and it was too strong and I still have it and like, I just don't use it. This is a rich, woody, like slightly masculine scent. I like a masculine candle in my home. It's not super intense. So if you're afraid of oud, this is like, this is really like, they, they're dumbing it down for you. They're making it very, very likable and it just smells kind of upscale, warm, a little bit refreshing at the same time too. It just smells like a really nice masculine scent and not heavy. I grabbed the Palo Santo Vanilla. I liked the aesthetic of it and I love to burn Palo Santo in my home as well. And of sweet candles, I actually really love vanilla candles. Like those of you who've been with me for a while probably don't know this about my candle tastes, but it's actually a little bit different than like my body fragrance taste. And I love vanilla in candles and I love to smell like a nice creamy cashmere type of or woody vanilla. My favorite, very cozy in the home as an ambient scent. But I don't like to wear vanilla fragrances. So this one is exactly kind of like a woody, cashmere type of vanilla. I don't smell too much of the Palo Santo wood. I really just smell mostly a really pleasant vanilla. And for a vanilla candle, a really nice one. Then I grabbed Sailing the Mediterranean because I want to live vicariously through my candle and feel like I'm on vacation. And this is, this is really nice. This is like a 
Like if there was a cartoon representation of an aquatic scent, this would be it. I really like this. It's breezy, it's a little bit sweet. It does give a little bit vacation vibe, so I enjoy. And then I got Springtime in Paris for basically the same reason. This is a bit more floral. Also sweet, like they have a similar vibe, these ones. I wouldn't say that these are like expensive smelling per se, but they're really pleasant, they're playful and clean, like clean, refreshing type of scent. I like refreshing, clean scents as well. Okay, here's probably the best candle release that they've had recently, and this is Pink Lavender and Espresso. They've like really hit the nail on the head with this one. This is a more intense candle, and this is, it definitely is like a sweet coffee scent, but you really get like a coffee coffee. Like undeniable coffee. And then the lavender kind of freshens it up. The first moment that I smelled this candle in the store, I was like, wow, I have to wait for the sale and buy it, because no, never will I buy it for full pop at Bath & Body Works. But yeah, vanillic, sweet, smooth, like a creamy, delicious, latte and then suddenly you're in a lavender field and then i grabbed a few of these little ones these i picked up at the store and i got wicked vanilla woods they didn't have these online this is really nice mm, even my man liked these and he also he's like me doesn't really like the vanillas but he likes some vanilla candles so wicked vanilla woods is really nice like just a woody vanilla scent i think if you like scents like um seven virtues vanilla woods this is kind of along that vein. Very, very pleasant, but not as sweet. I got fresh balsam, which kind of speaks for itself. So basically I'm saving this to Christmas. And this one is walk in the woods. This is probably the most intense of all of them. It has a little bit of a sharpness, like a burning wood type of smell, but you still get the refreshing scent of the forest and the woody freshness, and there's a smokiness in the background. So this is probably the most masculine of all of them with the least sweetness. I also picked up Sunshine Glow. This is a sweet kind of creamy floral vacation scent, like kind of like Maison Margiela Beach Walk. This one smells very nice as um, vacation-y, almost coconutty, like almost has like coconut milk. I, I don't think there's any coconut listed in here, but it almost gives off a little bit of a coconuttiness. A little bit of tropical florals, vanilla. That candle for me is gonna be like when I wanna feel like I'm on all-inclusive vacation, I'll be burning sunshine glow. A couple I picked up that were blind buys that I wasn't sure about, and so one of them was patchouli and rosewood. This one smells expensive and smells like a lot of like rose oud combo type of scents, or like rose oud patchouli type of scents, but obviously more subtle. The problem for me with this one is that the rose in here is sweet and is that type of rose like maybe Montel's Intense Cafe, that specific rose, Rose's Vanille, Mancera, like that type of, Rose's Vanille, that sweet rose, that's the type of rose that's in here, and that rose tends to give me a headache even though it's pleasant. Physically, my body rejects it after my pregnancy and after having my baby, like my programming changed, so that's a me problem, but it's a nice scent. Now I grabbed coconut and sandalwood and this was a blind buy and i fell in love with it i don't generally like coconut don't generally like sandalwood except that recently i've been into like a creamy sandalwood thing so i thought coconut and sandalwood this could smell this could very well smell like like a lulabo type of centile 26 candle and it definitely does this is like gris charnel meets lulabo's centile 26 in a candle, but also very affordable. Definitely smells not like a typical Bath & Body Works candle. I love this so much so that in my second haul, I got a bigger version of it. I feel like the three wicks will really feel, fill my home. The one wicks I don't think will as much, and this is uh, more or less of a subtle scent. But this smells very chic, like very urban chic, very... Well, this is known to be like that. Santal 26 is known to be like the scent of New York and everything in New York smells like it. Yeah, I, I get it. Except that this one is like, you're somewhere on vacation in New York and it's a lot more creamy and much, much more chill and you don't have that chaos. It's a, it's a very chic but relaxing scent. I picked up Flower Child as well. I have nothing to say about this. It's kind of um. 
pleasant but forgettable sort of soft floral. That was a blind buy. I just thought, hey, why not? And then cozy linen. Of course, you can never go wrong with a fresh linen type of candle, especially on laundry day. I love to burn a linen candle to like really get me in the mood to do the laundry. So this is, this is what that's for. It's just to motivate me to do my laundry. I picked up cinnamon spiced vanilla. I didn't know if this would be more vanilla or more spiced cinnamon. This is probably more vanilla. This really smells like a cinnamon bun. Like a very cinnamony cinnamon bun. It's yummy, but I worry that this might be too strong for me to burn because it does have that sort of baking smell. So this one I will probably end up gifting, but it's a nice scent. It's just that I can't do food smells and candles. Then I got Hibiscus Waterfalls and I got a little version of this candle that looked like this, the little mason jar ones. And I burned through it in like a week because I loved it so much. And it was not big enough throw from the one wick to cover my entire house. So I got the three wick. You know, this reminds me of like old school kind of like 90s aquatics. It reminds me of Bath, not Bath, but the body shop. The Oceana, or there was the ocean one. If you guys know, leave a comment with the correct name, please. But there was that ocean smelling scent from the body shop. And this kind of smells like it, but a little bit sweeter, very refreshing, very clean. Like it's not just aquatic, but it also has elements of like a fresh linen type of scent, which I love. So this I think is probably my favorite from all of them for the summer, like for the summer specifically. It makes me feel like I'm somewhere in a really nice oceanside villa. And then I grabbed Glacial Mist, honestly, because I think it was the last one left and I was intrigued. This is a nice, fresh, kind of icy, like it is a cool, fresh scent. I mean, it's not a standout, but it's, it's pleasant and it's fresh. Like nobody will be offended by it. But my favorite for sure is the Hibiscus Waterfall, the Dark Amber and Oud, and the Coconut Santal. Those are the ones, well, the Coconut Santal and the, the Dark Amber and Oud, I think are the most like expensive smelling. Oh, and the Pink Lavender and Espresso. This is like the best, the best coffee candle that I've ever smelled. So that's my whole haul. I think, except for like some hand sanitizers that I don't, I don't think you guys care about the hand sanitizers. So that's, that's it. And I would love to hear what you guys bought. Let me know your favorite current scent from Bath and Body Works. I'll check it out and yeah, let me know if you want to see more Bath and Body Works videos, but I feel like I'm more like towards the candle side of things and like the body care and less about the mist these days, but I'll do the mist. If you guys want to see a mist video, I will do it for you. So that's it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.